Welcome to my channel Beyond the News. A super over is a tie-breaking method, used in limited overs cricket matches, where both teams play a single. Additional over of six balls to determine the winner of the match. A match which goes to a super over is officially declared a tie, and won by the team who score the most runs in the super over. If the super over also ends in a tie, it is followed by another super over. Previously, the winner was typically decided by the number of boundaries scored throughout the match. Here are some of the rules of a super over. The fielding team cannot change their bowlers. From the previous innings, the batting team can choose to bat or field first. The team that bats first has to score at least as many runs as the fielding team in the super over to win. If the batting team scores more runs than the fielding team, they win the match. If the batting team scores the same number of runs as the fielding team, the match is tied. If the super over is tied, another super over will be played until there is a winner. The super over was first introduced in 2020 cricket in 2008, replacing the ball out method that was previously used for breaking a tie match. The super over was introduced into one day international OD kits at the 2011 Cricket World F Cup, but it was left unused. For the following World Cup, only the final would be decided by a super over in the event of a tie. Ties in other knockout stage matches return to the previous rule, where the team with the better group stage performance would advance. In 2017, the ICC instated super overs in the knockout stages of that year's Women's Cricket World Cup and Champions Trophy. Since its introduction, the super over has been used to decide the outcome of many high-profile matches, including the final of the 2016 World 2020, the 2019 World Cup Final and the 2022 Women's Cricket World Cup Final. It has also been used to decide the outcome of matches in domestic cricket leagues around the world. The Super Over has been praised for its excitement and fairness, as it gives both teams an equal chance to win the match, regardless of how the game has gone up to that point. However, it has also been criticised for being too unpredictable, as a single bad ball can swing the match in one team's favour. Subscribe and follow my channel beyond the news.